Good morning. We're going to take a book uh, from uh, the New Testament again. We're going to take a look at Acts. It's the first chapter. We're going to look at the first four verses, so open your Bible. The first account I composed, Theophilus, about all that Jesus began to do and teach until the day when he was taken up after he had, by the Holy Spirit, given orders to the apostles whom he had chosen. To these he also presented himself alive after his suffering by many convincing proofs appearing to them over a period of 40 days and speaking of the things concerning the kingdom of God. And gathering them together, he commanded them not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait for what the Father had promised, which, he said, you heard of from me. For John baptized with water, but you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. Police charged a woman with reckless driving after she drove off the street and onto the sidewalk and back because she didn't want to wait for a school bus dropping off some students that day. And while it's true that waiting can make us rather impatient, there are also good things to do and to learn as we wait. Jesus knew that this was so when he told the disciples to not leave Jerusalem. They were waiting to be baptized with the Holy Spirit. And as they gathered in an upper room, likely in a state of excitement and anticipation, the disciples seemed to understand that when Jesus told them to wait, he didn't say for them to do nothing. They spent time praying, and informed by Scripture, they also chose a new disciple to replace Judas. When they were joined together in worship and prayer, the Holy Spirit descended upon them. And the disciples hadn't simply been waiting, they'd also been preparing at the time. And as we wait on God, it doesn't mean doing nothing or impatiently rushing around and trying to move forward. Instead, we can pray, worship, and enjoy fellowship as we anticipate what he will do in our lives, what he will do right now for us in our lives. The waiting prepares our hearts, our minds, and our bodies for what is to come in our lives. Yes, when God asks us to wait, we can be excited, knowing that we can trust him and the plans that he has for us in our lives as we continue our journey every day. So the questions today, do you find yourself in a season of waiting? Honestly, I think we all are. I think we find ourselves in this season of waiting for what is going to happen tomorrow. When is everything going to open up for us here in Ramona or in San Diego or in the state of California? And so we wait. And how can you see this as a season of preparation? A season of preparation instead of just waiting. Pray with me. God, when I'm struggling, remind me that the seasons of waiting aren't for nothing, but help to reveal your loving handiwork in my life. Amen.